Hello, I'm Cristina Caicedo Smith, VOA News reporter, and this is what you need to know about press freedom this week. Violence in Haiti is surging, and journalists there are being attacked and kidnapped. But a reporter for the Haitian Times explains why media needs to be there. You have to tell the stories. If you don't tell the stories, it's gonna it's gonna keep getting worse. If you're not telling the stories, who's gonna help? When a journalist turned media professor found out that the town she lived in didn't have a local newspaper, she stepped in. For a town this large to not have a newspaper, I thought it was just horrible. So she set up a student-led paper that gives young reporters real-life experience and ensures the town gets the news coverage it deserves. For years, Nigerian journalist Philip Obaji has investigated the actions of the Russian Wagner Group in the Central African Republic. And I wanted to really know exactly what this group was doing in, in that country. And With journalists fearful of covering sensitive issues and sources scared to go on record, the Nigerian reporter is taking a fellowship to support his investigative work on the Russian mercenary group in Africa. A Cambodia Democracy News website, Voice of Democracy, is set to relaunch in the U.S. several months after authorities revoked its license. From outside the country, its director told VOA he decided to continue because Cambodia needs access to accurate information and independent journalism. For more on press freedom, please visit us at voanews.com forward slash press freedom.